Hey guys, what's up? Ling Ling is back with another video for you guys. Stop it. <laughs> okay, so I have just been back to Denmark for Christmas and now I'm back in China. And I thought that it was about time to make a video about all the things that I'm doing because I've been in China for too long. Uh, you know, you go back to Denmark and then you, I, I go back to Denmark and then I realize, oh, I do this and the other people don't do that. That's kind of random. <laughs> So today I'm just gonna tell you guys about the few things that, or actually it's quite a lot of things, but the things I do when I've been uh, in China for too long, I realize that when I go back home. So I've been writing them down, sorry for this, I'm looking now. The first thing I do is that I drink hot water. I do drink a lot of water and I drink a lot of hot water. Why? Because here there is only hot water in the dorm. There is no cold water. Water. Sometimes I make like a big um, can of hot water and then I just let it stay in my room like open so all the heat can come out and then I can enjoy cold water but I don't mind drinking the hot water either and I drink a lot of tea. So when I go home I'm just like ooh the water from the sink is really really cold. <laughs> so stupid. The second thing I do is that I always bring tissues around. I always bring tissues because in China you just never know if there will be toilet paper or not and it's kind of annoying if there is no toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> and I also, um, when I go to the bathroom, I that's another thing I do because I've been here too long. I, I throw the tissues, the toilet paper in the bin besides the, the toilet instead of in the toilet after using it. Uh, because in China, if you throw it in the toilet, you never know if it's gonna get stuck. So yeah, that's what I do as well. <laughs> Also, last time when I came back, the first time I wanted something to drink, I was actually looking in the fridge because I was like, I looked at the sink and then, I, it just took me two seconds to realize, oh yeah, I could actually drink the water from the sink. So that's the third thing I do. Um, I'm just like, oh, oh yeah, I can drink from the sink. Then when I come back to China, I have a tendency to go straight to the sink and then I'm just about to drink and I'm like, oh no, 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 no girl, no, no, no. You cannot do that. <laughs> so that's the third thing. Another thing I realized I do is that when I arrived in Russia, I did a stopover in Russia for a few hours when I was going back to Denmark, and I got online on my phone and I immediately went to Baidu instead of Google to check something. And it was like, oh no, wait a second. Cause like Baidu was really slow and I was like, Hmm. Oh yeah, I can use Google. Yay! It's not blocked anymore. I can also use Facebook and I can also use uh, YouTube. Um, I also sometimes just automatically go into um, into the VPN. I want to turn on the VPN and then I'm like, oh no, I actually don't have to do that. I can. Oh, and I can play with Instagram and it's loading the pictures immediately. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> so that's the fourth thing I do. Fifth thing I do is that. I realized this when I was in Copenhagen with my mom. So we wanted to find a place to eat and she wanted to eat sushi. And then I took my phone and I was like, hmm, food app. I need to know what is around this area. And then I realized, oh, in Denmark, we don't really have that. We just, uh, well, I tried to write sushi on Google map and then it kind of came up with a few places like really far away. And I was like, oh my God, I miss my Chinese food apps telling me where it's good to go and eat. <laughs> so that's another habit after I've been staying here for too long. <laughs> Um, yeah, the sixth thing I do is that I, uh, I think that it takes one hour to go wherever I want to go. And it doesn't in Denmark because everything is uh, like so nearby. The distances are so short because the country is so, so little. Um, yeah, so I just measure, okay, so one hour to go there and then I stay with her for three hours and then it takes one hour to go back. But it, it literally takes 10 minutes because I drive everywhere in my parents' car, right? Another thing I do abroad, so this is not when I'm in Denmark because obviously we speak Danish, but if I'm abroad or with foreigners, I realize that I add an extra bye when I say bye. <laughs> uh, because Chinese people always say bye bye. And I also raise my tone, bye bye, <laughs> instead of saying bye. 
<laughs> so dumb. <laughs> But yeah, that's what I do. When you have been staying in China for too long, uh, you might you might know this problem. So guys, that was the, well, it was kind of seven things, I think. I added a little bit in between, but it was kind of seven things I do after I've been staying in China for too long. Thank you guys for watching this little video from Ling Ling, I hope you're having a great day, evening, wherever you are in the world. I'm looking forward to see what you do differently when you uh, are abroad. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling is out. See ya and zaijian. Bye bye.